Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Oh wait a minute, was that? Did I hear that correctly? The budget went through. Is that the same thing as? Oh, the Easter Bunny asked forgiveness for bringing you all that candy. Oh, what? I know it's unreal. Anyway, that was a campaign that they had out for the Easter Bunny. But as we go into Easter week, week, this is really spring break for many people. Oh, and James Franco's Spring Breakers is well. Let's just say Disney girls go wild. The dark, the dark side of Disney Girls growing up. Anyway, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans? Well, you'd think so, man. I mean, they basically put uh, like uh, 500 amendments up to try to get the government to do something. I mean, like, I love this one. That the Obama administration spent $54 million making certain that White House staffers fly first class, but they can't get $17,000 a week to keep the White House tours open. Mm -hmm. And they're going on and on trying to, okay, they could not get the Democrats to remove one single one of their pet projects to keep the White House tours open, even though they unanimously voted it was a, it was like a, a, a 99 to 0 that it was an outrage that it was shut down. Mm -hmm. Not one Democrat would vote to keep it open, so and that's something. And Obama vows unwavering support for Israel. Which everybody's laughing at far as soon as he said that, he went over to talk to the Palestinians and said the Israelis must compromise. They must do this, they must do that. They said that uh, the Democrats are dancing on a stock. The President of the United States has won over the Israeli people. He has now convinced them that we are their friend and basically you know, like the, the, one, of the, one of the top people in the Knesset said, he said, we, he was being booed out there, folks. Or did not the press catch the heckling and the booing at the Knesset? Mm -hmm. They don't. He said, he has a 19% approval rating in the Middle East, and it's even lower in Israel. Mm -hmm. And experts suspect North behind South Korea computer crash. Yeah, but they're not supposed to have that kind of technology. Guess what? That they now discovered the North Koreans have. Are you have. serious? That's right. Uh, and contingency plans underway for Syria. Oh, yeah. The contingency plans is they're not going to do anything because the Russians and the Chinese basically want the, okay, they want the port of Damascus to be friendly to Soviet and Chinese material. And if the, if the extremist comes in, the extremist basically don't buy weapons, they, uh, they steal weapons, so they don't make any money off of extremists, period. And the Senate voted 79 to 20 to repeal a 2.3% sales tax on medical devices such as catheters, pacemakers, and MRI machines. Mm -hmm. Then now, bit by bit, they're starting to dismantle Obamacare like everyone knew they would have to because it doesn't work. His was only going to add 300 billion to the deficit. It's now 2.9 trillion and growing with every day. People are being put out of work, which they said wasn't going to happen. There's taxes on people that they said wasn't going to happen. They're also going to, they already voted yesterday to remove Obama's $2,300 surtax on, uh, on all of those uh, health care programs that union members have. They couldn't do it for union members without doing it for everybody else. They said, it, it, you know, they said the president doesn't have to agree to it, but since it was like uh, 80 to 19 to do it, it means that they can override anything he does. So you're going to see a very slow and meticulous dismantling of a thing as they can't be paid for because 2.9 trillion and growing with every day. Mm -hmm. Well, they said the the rules and regulations that have been passed since the first of the year are 69 inches tall now. Asia's oh, yeah. F-35 buyers forced to wait as China seeks edge. Well, yeah, China wants to basically. They're going to. They're they're preparing a massive military, and they're going to kick the United States' butt because Obama is making certain that our military is cut back because he owes the Chinese so much money. He's letting happen whatever they want to do now. It means if they want to destroy us economically, they will. If they want to invade us, they will. They want to fire missiles into us, they will. But don't worry, he is the most popular president in the history of the universe. And bizarre dance creates optical illusion. Oh, it's it's it's, it's basically. There, they, okay, we have the, okay, this 3D camera we're using right here, it has the slow motion thing on it. It's nothing more than a slow motion and they're catching people, you know, uh, moving into one another's thing. It, it neat because you got, you got a line of dancers and as each dancer moves, the other dancer moves too. So it looks like at times in a dance movement that they're, that you're seeing half of one dancer merge with a half another. It's just, it's just optics. It's nothing unusual. And Brian Ehrlicher's days with bears are over. Yeah, they, they basically gave this the, 
the, the, the head of their defense and ultimatum. You either accept what we give you or you're going to be gone. Well, he's going to be gone and it's basically making the Chicago Bears fans unhappy. They're trying to get a brand new stadium. They want to get a soldier field, so what do they do? They're dismantling the team favorites so that they know that when you dismantle team favorites, you're going to get raw support among the people to spend a billion dollars for a new stadium in a state that's busted. And that marriage was shaky from the get-go. Yeah, well, like for instance, if your wife is going out all night and the husband doesn't pay any attention to the wife, period, it's sort of, it, it's just like if on your honeymoon you go off with your friends to go fishing, you might have an idea that there's a problem with that marriage. And what those sell-by dates really mean. Not much, <laughs> because the sell-by is basically, you know, uh, it's not going to be as good this date. Those are not, uh, the, a lot of the dates are no longer uh, used by, because it turns bad as sell-by, because they're wanting to get them off the shelf. They, they want optimum, but it means what they do in a lot of cases is take them over to other stores and sell them, because they're not, uh, you know, like the, the, the date that they expire could be two years down the line. And Kutcher, I know, because we've talked about that before. That's right. And Kutcher doesn't care if you call him this. Well, he is a geek. Well, yeah? He makes a living off of doing geeky things, folks. Oh, we're, we're, what? Oh, they thought... He would be offended if they you know the me. geek and the and you know the geek and the beauty queen and the ge and geek this and geek that. He is a he, he okay. Basically, he he would have been when if he'd have from another generation, he'd have been a nerd. Mm -hmm. And Upton responds to Teen Prom's date request. Oh God, this is this is uh, you know she the, okay. First of all, she's twenty one years old, folks, and she'd be dating. She'd be going over a prom with an eighteen year old. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, that's a big age difference, mm. you know. She's just barely okay. The trick was, I understand, she never went to a prom because she was busy working, oh. so it would be her first prom. Besides getting an ungodly amount of publicity out uh -huh. of it, she's never been to one before. Oh, and Syria Rebels, a C security compound in Golan. Yeah, then you know, that's not a good sign because the Israelis control the Golan Heights, so. And Italian president urges unity as poll pressure grows. Well, yeah, because the, here's the thing is that Bertolucci, who was tossed out of office, controls the government. Uh -huh. You know, what, he, what happens is, is they do things, they have an election for the president and an election for the government, and the president needs to make a coalition government because it's a parliament, and the problem is, is two-thirds of the government is in the hands of the guy that lost the election. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? That's what parliamentary procedure does. It's, it's how Obama hopes to stay president for life, is that they want to have a one-party system in the United States where the government in power keeps the president in charge. So that's not going to happen because the Democrats are really starting to get fed up with this guy. You know, they, they, you know, they, they went out on a limb and said all these things were going to happen. Now, it's the same thing as that in order to get their assault weapons banned, they're going to have to make certain that every crazy person in every lunatic asylum has an assault weapon to kill people with. And if that happens, you're going to know where the weapons came from. And Obama warns of extremist threat in Syria. He finally discovered that there's a, that there's a okay, since they see the extremists are in charge in every country that he has went into, uh, you might think that there is a correlation between Obama and extremists in the Middle East. And Senate narrowly passed his first budget in four years. Yeah, I mean, like 50 to 49. They had, oh, really? Biden came back because it was that close. Uh, mm -hmm. it basically because, the, okay, he would have never passed except for Mitch McConnell and, uh, and, and his Republican elders deciding to do away with the filibuster on certain things. They couldn't have passed it otherwise. And Pope urges dialogue with Islam and more help for the poor. Well, it's not going to happen because it, it, people in Islam only have one thought, and that's to kill all infidels. And they're, and they're not going. To, there's no money to help the poor because in every country in the world, as they uh, where well, they taxed everybody, they taxed people to the death. I mean, they can't, they're getting ready to seize people's assets in Cyprus, and 40% uh, of the assets they're seizing belong to the Russians. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. I think that's a good one. That people are finding out that in the 21st century some of the jobs are exactly as they were in the 20th century. Mm -hmm.